What's that, Burgess, huh? Whose truck is this? Come on. Don't call for me, you're a celebrity. You got need exposure. Oh, come on, don't breathe on me, Paul. That's the big time exposure. I just wanna, I, don't I know about these you guys? You don't know about nothing. What do these guys want from me? To huh? watch your train. Boom. Hey, come on. What is the matter with you, Paul? It's supposed to be private. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. You ain't doing me no favors. You're embarrassing me in front of everybody. You can make me look bad in front of your sister. You see the cigar? Or stick it in your ear. Now, don't do these things to me. You should have called me up or something. Leave a message. Don't do that. My sister really likes you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you one of these days. I swear to God. Baby! Baby. Here he is. The next heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Balboa! Right there. Rocky Balboa. Listen, we want to get a brief interview in with you. It won't take long. What about me? What about you? I'm in charge of the meat. Uh, fine. Would you stand behind it, please? Listen, just settle yourself. Don't just relax. What we're going to do is just ask you a few questions, Rocky. Just a few questions about your unique training method. Talk to the folks at home. They really want to know, you know, how you got into this. I mean, this isn't an everyday thing. Jimmy, you guys ready? Let's roll it. Rocky, why don't you turn right around here? Just don't take no cheap shots, you know? No, I won't do that. Just relax, Rocky. Today, we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. The reason we're standing in hey, this refrigerator... Hey, the meat guy's sticking his face in. Let's try it again, Rocky. Today, we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. The reason we're standing in this refrigerated box is that Mr. Balboa has an unusual method of training. And in a moment, he's going to demonstrate that for the viewing audience at home. But first, Rocky, how did you come to train in an ice box? Uh, well, uh... My friend, the guy over there, he let me in one day and I hit the beef here and I kind of liked it. And since I've become a challenger, the owner don't mind neither that I come in. Is this a common training method? I mean, do other fighters pound raw meat? No, I think I invented it. Would you don't give us a demonstration? Don't the reservation sure. for our people at ringside. And be sure to fly my barber to fill it. For the people over there. How much is being channeled in the West Coast closed circuit advertising? 300,000. That's 450. And send the mayor's wife 200 roses from me and make sure we get a picture of it for all the newspapers. Do you want to run the 15 radio spots in the Midwest? I think you could spend your money better in Canadian publicity. By the way, Apollo, I've got a couple of friends up in Toronto who'd probably be able to get you a pretty good tax break. <laughs> Georgia like your business. <laughs> hey, champ. You ought to come look at this boy you're gonna fight on TV. Looks like he means business. Yeah, yeah, I mean business, too. Hey, Shirley, we got any more coffee out there? Oh, certainly, Mr. Greed. I'll get you some right away. After the fight, I may just retire and run for him. Yeah! Get the arena figures on the program in session, and uh, Ghost Run with the arena is gonna include the rest of the Diana Lewis in the Meat House with South Paul Rocky Balboa. Can he call the reporters? Yeah, I threw my old training schedule off. Don't be mad at him. He's just trying to help. Oh, AJ, I ain't mad. It's just that uh, when the reporters are around, I get out of joint because they take cheap shots, and Paulie knows that. And this Paulie keeps asking me for a job all the time, but he don't know nothing about fighting. Are you going to say anything to him? What's to say? I just don't know what he wants from me. I don't want nothing from you. I don't want nothing from you. This ain't no charity case. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. You're no friend no more. Get out of my house, I just said. Don't talk to him like that. Both of you get out of my house. Yo. 
cold outside, Polly. I don't want you missing, though. And I don't raise you to go with this scumbub. Yeah, come on! You wanna hit on me? Come on! I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. That's right, I'm not good enough to meet with Gazzo! Woo! That's what I think of Gazzo! Now you're a big shot fighter on the way up. You don't even throw a clump to your friend Paulie. When I go and get your meat every morning, you forgot that night I even give you my sister too. Molly, can't we say that? I'm a pig. A pig gets you the best. You want roommate? Absolutely. Okay, now when you walk into the ring for the number one heavyweight of the world, you'll be ready, won't you? Why? Because I waited for 50 years to make you ready. You'll be able to spit nails, kid. Like the guy said, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. You're gonna become a very dangerous place. Hello, Mickey. Hey! Somebody, oh, Rock. I want you to meet our cut man here, Al Savani. Take a look at his eye, kid. How you doing, Al? That's right. Ain't bad. Seen worse. Yeah, you ain't so bad yourself, you know? Cover up. Things will be okay. You cover up. You cover up. That's right. Go and take a shower, will you? Okay, Good. Mick. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. 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 You, you covered that uh, Whitmore fight. That's why you won. Hey, listen. We got a winner here. We got a chance. Now he goes to the party like nobody you've ever seen. You just stand by, boy, and we're going to win. Hey, Rob. It's okay I talk to you? Okay, you talk to me. Sure. I figured some angle to make some money with your name. My name? How's that? Advertise. I know about that stuff. What do you know about advertising? Huh? Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? I'm gonna take the shot. Hey, wanna help me off with this?
Rocky, what brings you here tonight? Mr. Jurgis, the post is wrong. What do you mean? Well, I'm wearing white pants with a red stripe. It doesn't really matter, does it? I'm sure you're gonna give us a great show. Try to get some rest, kid. Good night.
walking around thinking, I mean, who am I kidding? I ain't even in the guy's league. What are we going to do? so hard. Yeah, it don't matter. Because I was nobody before. Don't say that. Oh, come on, Adrian. It's true. I was nobody. But that don't matter either, you know? Because I was thinking. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. Because all I want to do is go the distance. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Creed. And if I can go that distance, you see, and that bell rings and I'm still standing. First time in my life, see? That I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. Time, kid. Let's go. I'll wait for you here. Well, how about I wait here and you fight, huh? You know, you're looking very great today, you know that? Hmm? I gotta go now, but uh, don't you leave town, huh? Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Good luck. Hey, Adrian, you don't think this robe here is too baggy, huh? Good luck. Don't leave town. Now I'd like to have you meet my colleague tonight working to fight with me, Stu Nahan. Thank you, Bill Baldwin. The electricity is all over the place tonight as Rocky Balboa. Hey, what the hell is that? I trained you to be a fighter and not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. Well, what do you get out of it? Foley gets three grand, I get the rope. Shrewd. The story about tonight's fight, their style, their difference in style, you can quote a recent sports magazine which said, could be the caveman against the Cavalier. I notice a buzzing in the background now, Bill. Could be the challengers getting ready to get into the ring. Okay! Hey, Look boy. at my date! Toss me $200! Oh, I, I gotta go, I gotta work. How's the road? A 50 to 1 underdog living a Cinderella story, and he's captured people's imaginations all over the world. Four victories. He's had 38 by knockout, and he's lost 20 fights. Yeah, which makes me wonder, can he stand it? You know, the stamina and the skill to last the three rounds, because Las Vegas odds say no. Rocky Balboa climbing into the ring now. The Italian stallion, 
Some meat sign on the back of his robe there. Have you seen what that was? Shamrock Meat Shamrock Company. Shamrock Meat Company. There's a lot of noise coming from the background. You could go deaf with that noise. Yeah, the spotlight. seeing right back there? <laughs> is that the world heavyweight champion? You know, Creed? he's in a, in a boat, riding in a boat. Is he supposed to be George Washington? Obviously so. He's got the hat on the whole shot. Look at well, that. Well, it's been confirmed. <laughs> the world champion, Apollo Green, is doing an imitation of George Washington. He's throwing money. I don't remember when we were flying in, we were talking about George Washington and uh, throwing a dollar. Throwing across. a dollar. Of course, we yep. threw a dollar in those days and went a lot farther. <laughs> now he's taking his right wing chain off the hat. Loving every minute of it. Look at this. Here is the world heavyweight champion. Apollo Creed. For you around the world, he was dressed as George Washington, the father of our country. Uncle Sam and himself. He looks like a big flag. Is he talking to me? He's talking to you. Is he talking to me? Let him talk. Let him talk. I want the stallion. I want the stallion. Uh, oh I want the stallion. For you in foreign world. countries during World War I, it was a picture of Uncle Sam with his finger pointed like that, a recruiting poster for our fellows in the service, the Army and the Navy. I want you. I want you, and that's what he's doing to take up. There he is. That's it, Creed. He's got a Creed in three. What do you think that outfit cost? <laughs> Who's anybody is here tonight? Time, time does not permit me to introduce the many luminaries of politics, show business, and the sporting world who are with us tonight. But I would like to present one of the immortals of pugilism, a champion in and out of the ring, Philadelphia's own smoking Joe, the beloved Mr. Joe. In his career as a okay, fighter, Gene, now he's up. coming over to talk hey, to Hey, how about that? Hey, Joe. Now, you've been dumping me long now. No, Joe. Uh, you next, Joe. Uh, you next, Joe. You, 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 you understand? You next. They must be friends. Philadelphia before, and you know the rules. You'll have no low blows. Watch your heads, no buttons. Shake hands now, and come out fighting. Come on, put your hands up there, Chump. Come, come out fighting. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Play going on there. <laughs> Rocky just taking it carefully, though. He, he's, he, he's just going over and being calm, it looks like, from here. And there goes the big hat. I've never seen a fighter that concerned about his hair. <laughs> Come on, come into the center. 
of the ring, looking at each other. Rocky just looking. Creed, the champion, sipping, flying those jabs off there. Left-handed jabs, right to the head, bang. The champ stinging the slower challenger of jabs at will. In fact, it just looks like Rocky blocking the blows with his face. The champion doesn't look the best he's ever been, but he's really moving closer now. Well, the champion is smiling now. He's toying with his man. He's trying to give the, the fans their money's worth because we're doing and make a show of it. And a very badly outclassed challenger right now. Okay. He's just trying to make his man make the first one. See, make a miss like that. And he's just, the champ is just taunting him now. Reed dancing around. Oh, I don't believe it! The champ is down. Yes, he is. Reed is down. What a surprise this is. This is the first time the champion has ever been knocked down. Boy, believe it, he's in the count. Six, seven, eight. It appears to be all right. Good last night. Okay. Come on, Rock, go to the real pool. That's going to work right now, Rock. Come on. Now, Rocky coming back out, and he's like a bull in a china closet. He really wants it. Probably left to the head. Ah, uh, stays. <laughs> All right, now the champion's coming back. He's coming off the floor now, and he's trying to put him up to heart. Another right, another right, another right. Combination into the face. That's the Apollo we know. <laughs> now, he's taunting him. The champion's taunting Rocky to come on in some more. Left, another. Another left. <laughs> oh, Rocky's coming back now. Oh, left and right. Rocky's got him on the level. Hey. Okay, let's break. Good punch. Let's break. 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 Let's they're leading him back over to his corner. Rocky can hardly find his way. He's he 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 sitting down now. Your nose is broke. How's it look? Yeah, that's an improvement. I want you to quit shucking and jiving. I want you to stick and move. Go for the ribs. Don't let that bastard breathe. The guy's great. He doesn't know it's a damn show. He thinks it's a damn fight. We'll finish this bum and let's go home. Right. Stay to the body. The body. Do it great. Now, here we go. Round two. Creed predicted he would win it in three. Creed got knocked mm -hmm. down in the first. He came back strong at the end of the first. Oh, and he's working now. Oh, that sharp left. Again, a hard right. And now coming in, he's working. Mark into the corner again. The champion's got it. He's back in the corner. Coming in left and right. His head bouncing up against the ring wall. Oh, Balboa's taking a tremendous beating here. Battering him like a punching bag. What's keeping him up? Oh, come on, man. Don't you fight me. Stop playing around out there. Give the people something for the money. And he says he wants more. He wants more. You folks in Deadwood Television are on the world. You're watching a battle, I tell you that. Balboa's trying to play back. The champion is trying to get himself out of there, but he just can't do it. He is being barraged with lefts and rights to the head, to the body, to the head. The ball is tagging the champion right on the kisser. And the referee got in. They're ready to keep going. Look at that. Hey, come on. Come on. Back to your corner. Put that trunk back on his back. Come on, Come on, Creed. Come on, Creed. Come on, Creed. Hey, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, my God. 
You went the distance. You went the 15 rounds. How do you feel? All right, Thor. What are you thinking about when that buzzer sounds for that last? Adrian! What are you thinking about when the 15th round when you're coming out? Adrian! Adrian! What about Rocky? Hey, where's your hat? Oh, 